Uh, welcome back. Uh, so we are starting now with the section five, which is the last section of Exim Cloud Computing Foundation course. So I congratulate all of you for completing last four sections, and uh, now we are on the last section. So let's have a quick recap. Uh, so we covered four section uh, before this section. So in the first section we covered about the cloud principles and in that we started with the concept of cloud what is cloud all about how the evolution of cloud computing has happened with the likes of mainframes to the mini computers to the microcomputers to the personal computers and then uh, to the present day uh, systems and then how your network has evolved over a period of time uh, to be the current network and to be the current internet of the or uh, ways of handling the network. And uh, these compute plus your network, when you try to start using these features and functionality, obviously the data is is uh, in the whole game is your cloud computing. So, so we talked about evolution towards the cloud computing. And then we talked about different types of cloud architects. So we, we, we discussed about what the different types of cloud architecture frameworks are there and then we spent quite amount of time in that, right? <clears throat> we also talked about various types of cloud deployment model. So that can be public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud, community cloud. And then we discussed about the cloud service model, right? So we talked about three cloud service models, which are infrastructure as service, platform as service, and software as service. So we discussed about all these things, right? Uh, under that, uh, cloud principles and under the cloud architecture principles here. Yeah. And then we tried covering the benefits and limitations of cloud as a part of the section one. So that was the most important section. That section comprised of almost 2.5% of the overall exam. And uh, yeah, we tried covering that section. After that, we moved on to the section, uh, section two, which was all about implementing and managing the cloud. So in that uh, section, uh, so as it comprises of almost 20% of the exam, so we talked about how we can think of building a local cloud environment. So what are the prerogatives? What are the things which you need to think of when you are trying to build your local cloud environment? What are the principles of managing your cloud services? So we tried covering all these aspects under the implementing and managing the cloud, which was uh, section two, uh, and then it comprises of 20% of the exam. And under the section three, uh, we used or we covered the topic uh, using the cloud. So how we can use the cloud and uh, it is almost 17.5% of the overall examination weightage. And in this, so we tried uh, talking about the pointers such as how you can access the cloud, what are the ways of accessing the cloud, how you can be supporting business processes and uh, you know the cloud computing what are the different service providers you know or they can think of using the cloud how they can think of using the cloud so this uh, was uh, section three where we talked about using the cloud and um, after that we talked about uh, the cloud security identity and privacy so that was again an important section which comprised of almost 17.5 percent of exam so cloud uh, security, identity and privacy management. So we talked about what are the aspects of cloud security, which uh, we have to be considering when you're trying to drift uh, onto the cloud. So how you should design your cloud security principles, so and so forth. And then we also discussed about the identity and the privacy management uh, aspects of cloud as well. So that's what we discussed uh, as part of uh, section one, two, three, four. So we have almost covered 87.5% of uh, the overall Exim Cloud Computing Foundation uh, course certification training. And now we are at the end of uh, you know, uh, the course, uh, which is the section five. So uh, the section five, five basically is uh, comprising of almost 12.5%. Uh, so in this, we will talk about uh, when you're trying to evaluate the cloud computing, what are the aspects you need to think of? So how you can think of uh, creating the business case for cloud computing, how you can think of evaluation of cloud implementation. So these will be the few topics which we'll try to cover in this section. Uh, and then with this, uh, we'll begin our journey for the section number five.
so as we see the business case for cloud so when you are presenting the business case case for cloud we need to think uh, and look for the reasons right so we should think what is the most important reason for people to move onto the cloud so the most important reasons for moving to the cloud in favor of traditional IT infrastructure are some of the aspects are cost saving time to the market scalability and elasticity productivity and mobility and overall asset utilization so these are the <clears throat> so these are the critical aspect which actually are considered when people or organization are thinking of beginning their cloud journey so while making this kind of move means that there is certainly less of your capital expenditure which is less of capital uh, you know cap keep expand in it infrastructure so since you know your traditional data center facilities and your network services you will be spending relatively less when you're trying to make a move from your your traditional ways of handling to the cloud ways of handling right and it also have an immediate financial impact from that perspective right so you are able to save on the capex cost so you as you see the cloud services provides much more flexibility and better time to market in terms of your overall tmm which is your time to market reduces for the business solution so it provides you the better agility from that perspective so we get we are getting a new business application up and running in a faster uh, way when you are trying to use a cloud environment right so when you bring things onto the cloud you can spin off your system spin down your system based on your need it becomes relatively more simpler and things become relatively more easier for you so uh, that's the reason why people think of moving onto the cloud right so as we see another reason to move onto the cloud can be you know its result in an environmentally responsible business right so suppose your cloud computing you know we can think of as a as more sustainable than your traditional IT. Uh, why? Because you know you can always reuse things. You can think of putting things based on your need. So hence, cloud uh, computing can be considered as a more sustainable than your traditional IT. So non-profit organization, right? They may find this as a compelling reason. So your startups, your non-profit organization, you can always think of using cloud because the overall spent in terms of capex cost can be reduced and then you can always use it based on the opex right so as you say these reasons for moving on to the cloud can be evaluated to the fundamentally financial matrices right which can be used for your investment decision right the, the first consideration can be your total cost of ownership your overall tco as we use cloud uh, we need to think whether your tc or total cost of ownership has it got reduced down and then we have to also think from the perspective of return on investment, right? So has the return on investment which you have put upon cloud, is it better than your traditional infrastructure or traditional data center? So your TCO and ROI perspective for the cloud business are discussed, you know, in the next subsequent slides, we will talk and discuss about it. But then these are the key aspects which has to be taken into consideration when you are trying to design your business case for cloud.